Though much of the attention for Sonic Boom has been focused on the Wii U version of the game, the 3DS version certainly shouldn't be counted out just yet. Like Rise of Lyric, Shattered Crystal received its own overview trailer in Japan, which provided a better look at some of its features. But we're not satisfied, so it's time to break out the old analysis machine to hunt down all the secrets and hidden details it could be hiding. So let's get to it. Though we've known the basic story of Shattered Crystal for a while now, there are new cutscenes and situations shown that leave us curious to how it'll actually play out. We still see in the trailer that Amy is knocked down and captured by Lyric, presumably from the headgear that he likely slips on her. And at some other point, everyone but Sonic is captured too, though he eventually rescues them, unlocking their abilities to traverse the level. But when the heck does that happen? The trailer actually features a cutscene that we pointed out in the Sonic Boom event trailer analysis, namely Cliff flying the plane. But we assumed that this cutscene would be part of Rise of Lyric since it features Sonic, Amy, Knuckles, and Tails with no sign of sticks at all. It's even slightly extended to show that the four of them jump off the plane towards the beach as it swings around the island. So that's why Cliff is flying the plane. But why is he only dropping them off? Is there something special about this island? And even though Cliff flies away with the plane, it's not actually gone as we can see it return later on, but with no sign of Cliff. But the oddest thing is that we get a small look at a beach level which seems to be the first level in the game. However, every character is playable, including Styx, who didn't show up at all in any of the cutscenes before. So it seems like the four land on the island, and then Amy is somehow separated from the rest before getting kidnapped by Lyric. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles then meet up with Styx, and the first level begins, which serves as a tutorial for all of their abilities. After that, Lyric is somehow able to capture the rest, and Sonic has to rescue them all, gradually getting them back except for Amy. We could be completely wrong about this, but it does seem to fit the events we've seen presented so far. That's just the story though. Quite a few bits of gameplay were shown including a ton of new levels. Along with the beach level we can see ones based around lava, an underground canyon, a rainforest with crashed and dilapidated vehicles in the background, a factory, and some kind of temple. They're all just short looks at each of the levels, but they seem to follow the same formula of the levels we've already seen just changing up the layouts, enemies, and hazards. We noted in past analyses and videos that the game has three different kinds of stages, though we mainly see two in this trailer. Adventure stages are where you explore with all four characters and is the main type of gameplay, and we get to see a little bit more of it here. Once again, we can see that shields will be in the game as there's one around tails. But if you look at the little bit of the bottom screen that is visible, we can see a percentage. That is actually based around how much of the level you've explored, since each adventure level is essentially a smaller version of Metroidvania-style exploration. One of the things that can be found while exploring is Tails' submarine minigame stages. Here, he sends down a sub to work its way through the water to receive a prize at the end. There's only so much time, so you'll need to run into the clock icons while avoiding depth charges. Not a lot is shown of it, but it's safe to assume that more hazards and challenges will likely pop up. The real question is if it's only crystal shards that can be found, or all types of collectibles. The other type of stage is the rival race where Sonic must speed through a level before another character. So far we know of Styx, Shadow, and Metal Sonic as rivals, and can even see a hint of Shadow in the Canyon Rival stage. But these types of stages might not only be against rivals, but the clock as well. At one point, we see Sonic quickly running through a stage set up in the same way as a rival level. There's no obvious rival, but we can see that he has to chase down the ball that contains his friends. So maybe if he loses sight of them, he'll lose the race? Either way, we can see that this stage ends in a boss fight with Lyric. The timer at the top even indicates that the player has been playing the level that this fight takes place in for over four minutes already. Plus, we can see the ball full of Sonic's friends in the background. It's a wider look at the arena too with only a small stage to fight on and a single ring on either side. There's no hint of what the actual boss fight will be like though. Finally, we get several looks at the overworld. Along the top, we can see symbols indicating how much there is to collect. There appears to be 40 of the titular shattered crystals to find, as well as 48 blueprint pieces. And thanks to another part of the trailer, we can see that it takes six blueprint pieces to construct a new item, meaning that there are eight items in total. What these items can do though, we have no clue. Continuing on, the next symbol resembles the ring around Sonic in the Sonic 2 title screen. But what could it actually mean? Does it stand for the number of stages that have been 100% completed? If that's the case, there are 34 stages in total. Perhaps more if only adventure stages count toward that total. Then there are the coins. While we're not sure how they're earned, we do think we know what they could be spent on. 
There's a part of the overworld that looks to include Tails' workshop where the blueprints can be used to build the new items, and a shop run by Quincy. It looks to work like the Super Smash Bros. Melee trophy game where you inserted coins to collect the trophies. In this case, they're figurines of characters and items from the game, complete with a short description. It also looks like the overworld is made up of multiple islands, with each one centered around a level theme. We can see one of the slingshots used during the adventure stages that likely shoots Sonic from island to island. And there's further evidence of other islands, simply because the Japanese name for Shattered Crystal is called Island Adventure. More and more, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal is looking like a fun game that combines the world and ideas of Sonic Boom with many of the concepts of the original series. Whether it all comes together remains to be seen, but you can certainly look forward to our review of both it and the Wii U version. Of course, if we missed anything, be sure to let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at GameXplain. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned to GameXplain for more on Sonic Boom and other things gaming.